Now, the virtual annual general meeting of the Distilleries Company of Sri Lanka convened yesterday to receive and consider the annual report of the directors and the financial statements of the company for the year ended 31st of March 2023. Meanwhile, Laughs Gas PLC announced that its annual general meeting was held on the 21st of September, adding that resolutions in respect of matters set out in the agenda for the AGM were duly passed by the shareholders of the company. Let's take a look at more news from our corporate world in our corporate news segment today. The virtual annual general meeting of the distilleries company of Sri Lanka was held yesterday and resolutions in respect of the matters set out in the notice were duly approved by the shareholders. The meeting convened to receive and consider the annual report of the directors and the financial statements of the company for the year ended 31st of March 2023. Further, DHS Jawadana, CR Jans, NDS Devaditya, Dr. A. N. Balasuriya, M. A. N. S. Pereira were re-elected as directors of the company. Laugh Gas PLC announced that its annual general meeting was held on the 21st of September and resolutions in respect of the matters set out in the agenda were duly passed by the shareholders of the company. During the AGM, Professor S.P.P. Amaratunga and R. Selva Skandhan were re-elected as directors of the company, while the directors were given authority to determine and make donations for the year ending 31st of March 2024 and up to the date of the next annual general meeting. Meanwhile, Bayrill Resorts PLC announced that the ordinary resolution set out in the notice issued beforehand was carried unanimously at the Extraordinary General Meeting of the company, which was conducted virtually. During the Extraordinary General Meeting, report prepared by the directors in terms of Section 220 of the Companies Act No. 7 of 2007 and the financial position of the company was discussed. The report highlighted that the company's losses escalated and stood at 277 million rupees for the year ended 31st of March 2023 after recognizing the exchange loss of 47.6 million rupees on the US dollar denominated loan in compliance with the Sri Lanka financial reporting standards.